Yeah, good evening everyone. Mazezoke once more speaking to us. Today, in line with our campaign regarding Enugu International Airport makes it 95 days of the airport closure, 75 days of contract sign and 20 days of project flag off. That is, when we talk about, or rather when Mazezoke speaks about project flag off, it means the date that Hadi Sirika, who is the Minister of Aviation, the date that he went to Enugu and um, basically flagged the project of with the contractor PW. Now, the reason why I'm bringing us this update is that today being the 27th of November 2019, the Enugu state governor, Ifani Uguani, has gone to the site. And these are pictures that was taken at the Enugu International Airport today. You can see the work ongoing. Now, as Uguani came to the airport today, you know, he met the contractors on ground and those in charge of that project, that is the PW, Public Works Limited. Public Works Limited is an Irish company, but uh, has its uh, Nigerian um, subsidiary in Nigeria, which does the work. As I have been telling us, and I must repeat this here again this evening, Public Works is the same company that have done the runway that got bad okay so this runway that we are or rather we've been clamoring for the repair to happen was done by pw public works so you know you guys are seeing this picture here that is when uh, uguani arrived and uh, he um spoke to the men and women on site, um, you know, and went on to inspect the ongoing rehabilitation of the Akanebiam International Airport runway, Enugu. You know, uh, the reason why he came um, is to assess the level of work done so far by the construction company, as I said before, known as PW Public Works. Okay, so, I mean, this is in line. His visit here is in line with what he um, promised. And remember, they raised a team that is the uh, Southeast Governors Forum, led by Devu Mahi. And they raised a team when they met in August before the closure of the airport, remember the airport was closed on the tw tw on the twenty fourth of August after the last Ethiopian airline. That should be a Saturday after the last Ethiopian airline landed by twelve o'clock. Then after their people disembarked, the um, airport was closed for rehabilitation. And for so long, in as much as that airport was closed for so long, nothing basically was happening at the airport because why those that have been following my campaign because there was no money there was no money to fix the enugu international airport at that time before the Igbo leaders went to abuja to uh, ask buhari or rather beg him which many of us actually we are angry or we aren't happy that they had to go and beg for that to be done in a federation called nigeria but that is now by the way now you can see the equipment you know the runway so what is happening here and i need to explain here so at the runway that runway at the enugu international airport uh 2.6 kilometers now, that runway, uh, the asphalt on top, that is at the base, you have cement. On top, they have the asphalt, which is a combination of chippings 
and bitumen with sand actually so which is normally used for search and that top layer is what at the moment they are removing so they're trying to scrape it off and to replace it with a newer asphalt anyway uh, in as much as it's taking you know too too long to do this i was speaking to someone over the week and uh, the person was uh, actually making inquiries why that was the the work going on at the airport was so slow and my explanation is of course it was so slow uh, according to my information, it appears the federal government actually released money, or rather part of the money this week. So because if you, you know, for those that have been following me, if you read my tweet, what I've actually been tweeting is that work is ongoing, but it is very skeletal. It is very, you know, it's going very, very slow before um this week you know in the today is the 20th day that it was flagged off so we can comfortably say for two weeks work was very skeletal and the staffs and the people i spoke to in enugu their explanation the reason why the work was very slow and skeletal was because um they you know they the contractor that is the pw were not mobilized now the the small things they were doing actually was as a result of the old payment so it, it means even in the shabbiness and in the shabby work that they've done uh the federal government was still owing pw for the work they did in enugu and on that note so when they got you know uh, um the old payment done that is according to the information i have when they got that old payment, you know, when they got the old payment from the federal government and they started uh, working, um, you know, gradually, basically didn't want to spend so much money. But as the case it is now, and they have more machinery, at least you can see, the last video I made where we had, I think, about only two or three uh, machineries at site, uh, aside the big helix vans and some excavators but now at least we have more trucks um, and you have this machine here so meaning they are mobilized to site that is a good news but one thing as we said that we have to and we promised them and i promised everyone is we are not going to relent so we've basically dedicated the time if they want they will can do this airport for two years and we will report on it for two years if they want let them do it for 10 months we will tweet every single day for 10 months so the earlier they do it the better okay so this is uguanyi and there was actually something that actually happened as well um, you know, I had the information that at some point um, they wanted to see if they can reopen the airline, uh, sorry, the uh, airport um, for the Christmas. <clears throat> so for people to use it for Christmas, then afterwards they close it back again. That was the suggestion I, I understand was from FAN, Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria. But the Minister of Aviation said no. And actually... In that sense, I would say kudos to Hadi Sirika on that one because I personally, Maz Ezeke, would also object to that because that is not a very good um, thing to happen. Because if you do that, what it will mean is, let's say from the 15th of December till 15th of January, the airport will be closed. And you know, Nigeria, when the trucks move out of sight, you know, it's very likely that uh, the trucks might go to Akure Airport, you know, or go somewhere else and be working. So by the time you remobilize them back to site, you might be getting, you know, sometime maybe March or April. So it's going to, um, you know, stretch the whole work. 
So the good thing is that the, uh, the Minister of Aviation said this is not going to happen, and that's why work is continuing. At the same time, it is indeed a very good thing, and you know the pictures gladdens one's heart that this is being done. Now, there is a technical team. I'm not part of the technical team. There are people being appointed, I think, um, uh, being headed by Engineer Okoye. So these are people, the Southeastern Governors Forum and uh, Nzukumun, I believe. Um, you know, in that committee, I think uh, Charles Obu is also part of that. So what is happening here is that this group, the technical committees, are, these are, some of them are, you know, PR people, some of them are engineers. So they would go in, ensure that the quality is adhered to. At the same time, now we are actually equally working very hard to ensure that we lay our hands on the document about the airport regarding what is agreed on, because it's not only about the runway. Remember, we are talking about the landing, night landing lights, um, the security um, equipment, uh, a perimeter fence, you know, eventually the fence, uh, the place will be fenced off. So we don't want when um, a plane is landing, uh, you might have vouch, you know, uh, sorry, um, cows crossing over because, you know, this is an uh, empty field when it's green, like it once happened in Portacot, that Air France came in from France early in the morning and uh, landed and, you know, had a uh, had a cow on the runway. So that was a couple of years back. So something like that is what we do not want to happen in the southeast. So that's, you know, why I'm saying this is that we keep tab what is happening. You know, perimeter fencing is going to be in the job that will be done, you know, and we will keep demanding every single day that the right thing be done that people be updated so for those of you that want to personally you can still join me and some of you that think that by now i will be worried and tired no it's not going to happen and uh, once more i keep giving my good friend uh nze um Anwoka, you know keep giving him shout out he does or um, you know, all the infographs for this campaign, you know. So it's a teamwork, you know, we do the texts and, you know, he keeps every morning. Those of us that are doing this so dedicated that every single morning we ensure that these tweets goes out asking questions, you know, where we are. And, you know, even tagging everyone. You can see we tag every morning uh, Dave Umahi because he's the uh, uh, chairman of Southeastern Governors. Then we tag Ugo and we tag the FAN, Federal Airport Authority, and we tag the Minister of Aviation so that they know that people are watching. And we want to see that Enugu International Airport, once it is completed, that actually it becomes an international airport. Without night landing, nothing that they've done at that airport, you know, everything that they've done at that airport will amount to nothing because that is actually the only thing that is going to make it to be an international airport with night landing facilities, okay? So these are the updates that Maz is okay have for us. Um, the governor of Enugu State uh, visited the, the airport today, and at that airport, he saw Mrs. The lady that you guys saw at the beginning, that is Mrs. Cecilia Oguama, uh, the project manager from PW and Mr. Mah uh, Mahbub Khan, and uh, the chairman of uh, People's Democratic Party, Honorable uh, uh, Augustine Namani. So today being Wednesday, the uh, 17th of sorry, 27th of November, 2019. You know, this is the update. Again, join me for this campaign. We must keep demanding that whatever is good for chickens must be equally good for dogs. So we must keep demanding 
that this airport is done and done in a proper way that it will become an international airport. So for those that think that the airport has been abandoned, no. Mazezoke can tell us, you know, if when I say these things, I say them and I mean it. The airport has not been abandoned. Work is ongoing. The pictures I believe that you've seen can convince you that work is ongoing. Stay tuned. I will be bringing you more updates as they come. This is once more Mazezoke. Okay.